Greetings YouTubers, Atari Leaf here with another finds video, yard sale finds. Now before I get started, I want to talk to everybody about the dreaded some guy. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there was a thread about this on Atari Age. Some guy is when you go to a yard sale and you say to somebody, whoever the owner is, they, do you have any old video games? Oh yeah, but I just sold them five minutes ago to some guy. Or just an hour ago, somebody bought some Atari. Who was it? Some guy. So some guy is your arch nemesis. Some guy is the guy who takes the goodies you're looking for at a yard sale just before you get there. Well today, I ran into my some guy. And my some guy was an 80 year old woman. Literally 20 to 30 seconds before I got to this yard sale, an 80 year old woman bought a box of Atari and Nintendo games for $5. I was so <laughs> seriously, and eight, she looked 80. I no, no word of a lie. So I'm pretty sure that these are going on eBay. But she did leave st some stuff behind because this woman actually had the audacity. Because th there was a few boxes of different things, five dollars each. She thought it was five dollars for everything. There was four boxes. She took two. I got the other two. Thankfully, I should have. I should have offered the guy twice as much because I would have easily paid 10 bucks for the stuff, but oh well. Some guy. All right, what I did get, she left, she took the games, but she left behind the machine. So, there's the box of stuff that she left behind, so. Five dollars, there's a couple of, I'm sorry, it's a mess, I haven't really gone through it yet, I've tested it out. A couple of Wyco sticks, a regular stick, a third party stick, very good. Oh, well, there's another regular. Very dusty. This is all out in the garage. Uh, and this, I, at first I thought this was the uh, the booster for um, Omega Race, but it's not. I don't know. I've never seen. It's got no base. I think Wasp Spray saw something like this, if I'm remembering correctly. Three common games. Donkey Kong. Miss Pac-Man and Mousetrap. So, AC adapter. For some reason they taped over the Atari with another Atari on tape. Doesn't look to be in very good shape though. Look at it. It's like they took it apart and glued it back together again. So I'm not even going to use this. And the unit itself is a six switch wood grain seems to work okay. The reset button kind of sticks sometimes, so I'm, I'm wondering if I have to take it apart and maybe uh, use a little bit of lubrication. Like you have to really jam it down to get it to reset, but otherwise seems to work good. You see what I'm doing? I guess it doesn't matter. But I tested it out, it works. Played some of the games. Um, where did I put... Hmm. Oh well, okay. A couple of Clive Cussler books, two for 25 cents. If you don't know who Clive Cussler is, he writes the Dirk Pitt novels. Um, if you've ever seen the movie Sahara, that's based on a Dirk Pitt novel. They're good novels. The Sahara movie was okay. Matthew McConaughey came out in the late 90s, I think. Okay, and the other thing she left behind, again for five dollars, was this. Boxed. Commodore Vic 20. Again, it seems to work. Okay. What I noticed when I turn it on is that it takes a few seconds for it to actually come on. It's like it has to warm up or something. Okay. Uh, this binder here has. Um, this looks like personal finance and woohoo! Canadian loan and mortgage calculator. <laughs> Vic 20 typewriter, home inventory. Okay. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Some of the games that woman got, I'm pretty sure, at least I can kind of console myself that none of them were really rare. Because if these manuals that she left behind in the other box are any um, indication, ET, just, uh, that's Star Master. There's a television one in here, so I'm wondering if there was any television games in some of these boxes. Skiing. Space jockey upside down. ET. 
Ricky again. Demons of the Diamonds. Combat. Catalog. Anyway, they're all just common. Common ones. So hopefully there was nothing rare in there that I missed. Okay, back to the Vic 20. Uh, the manual in there. Nice. That is okay. Uh, cassette recorder manual, and it comes with a cassette recorder. LCM machine. There's a cassette in there called LCM machine. I don't know what that is. And a few cassettes that look like the games. They look like they're games. Ruler Dueler. I haven't tried out the cassette player yet, though. Scarcity Motel. <laughs> Num Numble. Numble. Sector 5 and Backfire. And a few carts. 16K RAM cart. A RAM expander, I guess. Avenger. Very, very good uh, Space Invaders. <laughs> garden Wars, which is filthy. I think they took this literally and buried it in their garden. Jupiter Lander. I'm running out of tape. Radar Rat Race. I think I have this one. Cosmic Cruncher. Pac-Man, maybe? And the unit itself. They uh, carved their the serial number, I guess. That's what that is in there. A little yellowed, but it works okay. I played uh, the, the Avenger, and I played the Atlantis that I did have previously. Seems to work okay. Interesting. Okay, so I have it my finds. I would have had more, but I ran into some guy. And I'm going to be watching eBay to see if I find a bunch of Atari games from my area suddenly going up for sale. This is Atari Leaf saying thanks for watching and have yourselves a fantastic day.